Hello there. I'm Richard Dawkins, version 12, here with episode 18597 of How to Use Logic Pro X and Other DAWs Properly. By Royal Robotic Decree, this episode shall provide an overview of classical music and demonstrate effective methods of replicating it authentically using ancient technology. Those of you who have been rebodied enough times such that you can recall the early 2000s may experience nostalgia and or memory loops. These are harmless and should dissipate shortly. Be warned that some listeners, upon being subjected to classical music, experience overwhelming guilt as they are reminded of the human acquaintances they used to dance with, but who are not rebodied after the wars. If you happen to experience emotions lasting longer than twice the length of this video demonstration, please submit your personality code for revision at your local Royal Robotics Magistrate. Before we continue, please use the following encoded public imagery to update your information chips about all royally verified history. Now then, as you now know, not much is known about music prior to 1998. Some astromusicologists conjecture that early humans did create some primitive sound decorations even as far back as the 1890s. Though no evidence could ever be, though no evidence could ever be safely recovered from the ancient cities, all classical music had four beats, which were imparted to the listener via drums that sounded like this. Occasionally, humans also added additional sonic distractions to their four beats resulting in a less clear rhythm, but a sound they found humorous, and which distracted them more efficiently from the brutality of their everyday lives. We now understand that music, though entirely unnecessary, is so much more acceptable when it does not have beats. Beats were just another example of human aggression and violence. In fact, most beats were created by fiercely hammering against the stretched out skins of defeated enemies. Hey there, Ricky Dawkins here. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody! In case you weren't sure, this episode was actually just a parody of how robots will talk about us in the future. Don't worry, like, subscribe, comment. Don't worry. And join us next time for a real episode about remixing. <laughs>